So out of the bloody harvest event, we have some new decent legend news. Today we take a look at the Stalker, the new sniper. Now I've seen many people compare this to the Lyuda. I mean, I wasn't sure about that, so I've decided to compare them. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. Borderlands. Also guys, every week I give away copies of this game. To win one for yourself or a friend, simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. So the Bloody Harvest has for sure given us a great event full of all kinds of epic new loot. But only a few said pieces of loot are exclusive to this event. Today I want to answer the question some of you may have. Is the Stalker, this new sniper, exclusive to the Bloody Harvest event, worth the grind in getting? Hopefully today I can answer that by comparing it to a weapon many people said was the most OP in the game. It has since been nerfed, but the Lyuda still 100% holds its own. And not many weapons in the game still are capable of what this thing can do. Now before we check out these things and what they are capable of, go on off side by side comparisons, and I know stats do vary, but my Lyuda is one of the best that I've seen, so it's good to compare this to it. Now initially, and I'll be real with you guys, I actually don't understand how people can compare these. I mean, I think it's because of the big magazine sizes they both have, their fast fire rates, and while looking at them side by side here, they do kind of match up and well, you could kind of put them in the same category. Now after testing, I will straight up say, these are two completely different weapons. But could the Stalker be the weapon you bank your Lyuda for? Well, let's get into the nitty gritty. Firstly, the Stalker is by far the more accurate sniper, firing it in a 3 round burst. Each shot of my variant consumes 2 bullets, so the 3 round burst consumes 6 bullets. Now you can switch the sights as well between a 2.2x and a 5 times. The 2.2x makes this thing feel like an assault rifle. Now although this has a faster fire rate than the Lyuda, the pause between each burst means the Lyuda will easily empty its clip in a faster time, if they both have the same magazine size. So what about the actual damage output? Can this stand toe to toe with the Lyuda? Well to test it I went to Grave Ward. Now I needed a place to test this where it was equal for both weapons. So to save myself time I went for Mayhem 1, same boss, same instance, and guys, they ain't even comparable. The Lyuda because of that extra burn damage is on a whole other level, definitely of power output, than the Stalker. I didn't even have to kill Grave Ward to see this, my first few shots with this thing I absolutely knew. The Lyuda is a whole different animal in terms of damage output. So for everybody out there saying this thing is the new Lyuda, delete your posts, remove your comments, these things don't even compare. So the outcome, this isn't as powerful as the Lyuda, and guys in my opinion it was never going to be, that in my opinion isn't the point of this sniper. What this sniper does is bring variety to snipers in this game, we don't need another Lyuda, and what we have here is something unique within itself. This isn't the most powerful no, but it is great in many other ways, the cryo efficiency for one, 193% like damn. And this thing freezes literally everything possible to freeze, passing the most things I've ever used. Now what this weapon is, it's perfect for those sub-zero builds, mainly for Zane. It's perfect for sitting back, freezing enemies. It's perfect for taking out targets at AFR with precision. That's what this sniper is all about. I mean, if that's for your playstyle, and this is something you feel would fit your build, I would 100% recommend you farm for this thing. You can get it from Loot Ghost or Haunt and Heck. Will it personally be a sniper I use on a regular basis even though I main Zane? No. That doesn't mean it's a bad weapon though whatsoever. My honest opinion is, what it's good for and what it should be used for is a great sniper. But it doesn't have the ammo to support, really, what it's made for. I mean it runs out of ammo way too quick. Yes it freezes shit, but there are many weapons in the game that are more suited for what this weapon is supposed to be. So the Stalker is a low impact, fast firing, very accurate, precision, 3 round burst sniper with a high coil efficiency capable of taking out targets or freezing them at a distance, but it runs out of ammo way too quick, and all that remains is an icy husk. So yeah guys, would I recommend you farming this weapon? Well that all depends, if you're a collector and you want every legendary, then yes. If you see this weapon from this video and think it could fit a build you have in mind, or you have a build already set up, then yes. Is it a weapon that will replace any high power sniper? In reality what snipers are for? No it won't. So you make your own mind up guys. Me personally, I'm just going to vault this weapon and probably never use it again because like I said, I have all kinds of different trial weapons which ain't snipers but are better than what this thing does at what it was made for. And on that note we have come to the end of the video. Just me being real with you guys and I hope you appreciate that. If you do leave a like it really helps out. 
But on that note, we are out. Thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.